Is it working? Awesome. Welcome to the Home Theater Gamer Reacts to the Xbox Game Showcase. All right, we are right in it right now. But unmute this. We are starting right now. Oh, they got a countdown. That's a. Uh, it's exciting. It's very exciting. What is this? Is this Halo? The Mjolnir Exosuit is now complete. Yep. Even though this technology will save humanity in the war to come. remind myself liquid crystal cannot rise on its own titanium alloy cannot prevail in the Sorry, face guys. of extinction armor cannot hope It all means nothing until you step inside. Oh, admittedly, not the biggest Halo fan, but the music is amazing. Oh, we're actually going to see gameplay. I thought we were just gonna see like a cutscene. Already, I, I must be. I mean, this is a punishment, right? Yep, this is death. No, 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 no! This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on. Shit. Thank you, youth man. Stand it. Who oh, you are? Breathe. No. You don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything. We're. Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you. Remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh. Please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. Okay, big guy. Ooh. 
Wow. It's hard to tell with the compression, but it, I mean, does look good. Yeah, but so did Halo 5 when they updated it for the Xbox One X. Reflections in the water just kind of look like SSR. They don't look like ray trace reflections. Hard to tell. Um, definitely didn't have ray traced reflections in his helmet. And same with the windshield there. But, I mean, this is... I mean, it's still a work in progress, obviously. Oh, maybe they are ray trace reflections. Again, compression is not helping here. <laughs> you know, just going through headphones, the sound here is amazing. Like it, it the, I've always had a problem with the weapon sounds. But these definitely have some heft to them that I think was missing in the previous games. I came flying at him with uh, those grenades, the plasma grenades. That music. watching this it, it makes me really want to see what this game looks like in HDR I bet it's gonna look awesome Halo 5 looked awesome in HDR when they patched it wait did it did it get HDR it's been a while it's been a while I think it did Wasn't. 
<laughs> we are one step ahead. Always. The ring is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. But here you now stand. This is my last fight. A true Test of legends, our story will outlive us both. <sighs> Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. Die well. Makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Infinite. You just do the whole video with that voice. And of course, it's going to be part of Xbox Game Pass. Hopefully, it's day one on PC as well. That would be exciting. We hope you enjoyed your first look at Halo Infinite's campaign. I'm incredibly proud of the team at 343, and we're thrilled to share a hint of the epic battles that await you on the next chapter of Master Chief's journey. This is the most ambitious campaign we've ever created at 343. For the first time, players will have the freedom to explore a mysterious new Halo ring that's several times larger than our last two Halo games combined. Halo Infinite has been built from the ground up to take full advantage of Xbox Series X. Bigger battles, epic vistas, more complex visual effects, displayed with 10 times the processing power per pixel of Halo 5. This will be running at a flawless 60 frames per second and will allow us to bring the Halo ring to life in ways that have never been possible before. We look forward to sharing even more about Halo Infinite in the coming months, including the first look at multiplayer. And now, please enjoy a glimpse of what others in the Xbox Game Studios family have been working on. World Premiere Thought this was Hellblade for a second. <laughs> intense. A little intense. K3. I never played the first two. I was. I, I think I played a little bit of State of Decay 2, uh, but no, none of my friends would play with me. Welcome everyone to the Xbox Game Showcase. Today, we're showing games from nine of our 15 Xbox Game Studios, including unveils of five new first party games. What you will see today is how Xbox Game Studios are harnessing their passions to bring their dreams to life. We believe that how you find and play your games is as important as the device you play them on. 
Xbox Game Pass is the best way to discover and play. And we want you to be able to experience as many great games as possible. So Game Pass members, you can play every game you see today from your subscription or free to play. These games will look and play best on Xbox Series X, delivering unmatched fidelity, performance, precision, and immersion. And we've designed the most consistently powerful next generation console. And we've built state-of-the-art platform technology to allow every developer to realize their full vision. One studio that has always pushed the limits of our hardware is Turn 10. And they're early in development on the next Forza Motorsport. And Xbox Series X is bringing them closer to their dream of unprecedented realism with ray tracing and native 4K resolution, all at 60 frames per second. The trailer you're about to see was captured completely in engine. World premiere. Are they gonna keep saying world premiere <laughs> over and over again? The whole, the whole thing is just world premiere. Definitely ray tracing, for sure. Looks to be just reflections, maybe? Makes me wonder if they could target 60 FPS, native 4K with ray traced reflections. That would be a feat. Oh man. They're bringing back rare. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. It is found in the smallest moments. In every step of a perilous journey. In the symmetry of ritual. In the bonds we share. Stillness. It teaches us to look beyond Whoa. the expected. To be a light in dark places. To seek answers. And to stand watch over our world. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. Really digging the art style of this game so far. I don't even know what it is. Only a few truly feel it. interesting definitely something i try out everwild will give to you a magical and untamed natural world for you to explore and to just truly lose yourself in it's a place to be eternal and eternal has the gift to sense and feel how magic flows through nature and connects every living thing 
The team here at Rare are so excited to be working on something like Everwild, and I hope you're excited too. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has shown their support and love, and for the incredible, awesome, positive community that's already growing around this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think she's Irish. Something's telling me she's Irish. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. Love you, Mom. You seeing what I'm seeing? Mom? Allison? Yeah. It doesn't matter that they don't believe us. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter that they kept us apart. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. It doesn't matter that finding the truth feels impossible. We're all done with fairy tales. The only thing that matters is you're my brother. And the only way to move forward Mom. is to keep looking back. Mom. We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. She loved you. She attacked you. We both saw it. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. Seems like it's a Life is Strange type of game. I can't do this. Very story-driven. Hey everyone, my name is Gennady. I'm the co-founder and director of technology at Moon Studios. Today we are very excited to tell you that we're working on a very, very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, specifically for Xbox Series X. We are now at a time where we can reach levels of fidelity and frame rates previously absolutely impossible on any console. An already gorgeous game like Ori can now run at 120 Hz refresh rate in full 4K HDR in its highest quality, delivering unprecedented game feel with silky smooth animation, super crisp sharp image, and low input latency, which is just so important for the tight and precise platforming feel of this game. We can also boost the immersion in different spaces in our world by using premium audio tech that we previously just could not simulate in real time. And with all of this crazy hardware power, we can give our players more options with how they want to play our game. We can't wait for all of you to experience this very special version of Ori coming to Xbox Series X with smart delivery later this year. Farthest reaches of the universe comes the biggest mystery in the galaxy. An abandoned research facility, and now shady corporate intrigue. Marvel of the Gorgon asteroid. A sordid stopover, full of salacious secrets and scandalous strangers. Greetings, attractive patrons. You are looking downright unlawful today. With the right kind of case. They wanted us to develop a miracle drug. Can put you on the wrong side of a gun. Oh, sorry guys, got some technical difficulty.
or sword. Sorry about that. Or this thing. Thrills. Danger. Intrigue. A word of advice before you go, Captain? Trust no one. What will you find on Gorgon? <laughs> this unit cannot bring you any drinks in its current state. If you're waiting for the biggest game of the year then wait for cyberpunk but if you're ready for the smallest we've got you covered from obsidian entertainment the makers of games that are nothing like this one This summer, strive together to thrive together. Or just feed your friend to the spiders and go solo. Obsidian were dedicated to pushing narrative and role-playing games. It's something we do every day when we come to the office, and we can't wait for you to play our next great adventure, Peril on Gorgon. It's the first of two planned story expansion packs for The Outer Worlds that we're putting together with our friends from the private division. Now, it's also important that we continue to evolve how we tell stories. Grace Nation, how you doing? Welcome. A perfect example of that. The team has been working for the last two years on how to tell an Obsidian story within a survival game. Now, what's great is that you're going to be... Penny Jane, yeah. Um, that's why I don't play competitive. I only play single-player games. Because I'm just... I don't have the time to devote to getting good. Check this out. Although I really enjoyed The Outer Worlds. That was a World premiere. really fun game. We have always known war. It forged our empire. Turned heroes into queens and kings. And decimated our foes. Now our oaths are lost, forsaken. And you must face the monsters. Our sins have borne. Is an oath worth the weight of a crown? Getting some very Lord of the Rings vibes from this. Avowed. Ooh. That looks cool. I'd probably check that out. I'm I'm a sucker for RPGs. Avowed is an expansive first-person RPG set in the fantasy world of Eora. When Obsidian Entertainment joined Xbox Game Studios, they told us that this epic game is the one they want to make. As creators of critically acclaimed RPGs, this is Obsidian at their best. And it is being built from the ground up to take full advantage of the power of Xbox Series X. At Xbox Game Studios, we also work with independent developers, always with the goal of empowering them to bring their ideas to life. 
I'm excited to announce our work with Interior Night, a new studio led by some of the most talented storytellers in our industry. Let's meet Caroline Marshall, studio head of Interior Night, to debut their original game. Bonjour, I'm Caroline from Interior Night. Our team is really passionate about interactive storytelling because when you play a story, you step into the character's shoes. You get to experience their fears, their hopes, their conflicts firsthand. And in the process, you learn more about yourself. And this is quite powerful. Our first game spans 30 years in the American Southwest. It's a story about family, resilience, and sacrifice. But most of all, it's about how you will shape the fate of real, flawed people trying to find their way in a world they don't fit in. I hope you enjoyed the trailer. World Premiere Fortune, fortune, smile and fade I haven't seen you much of late I need you now, I cannot wait But when I look, you're not around We were on our way to start a new life that summer For our family, it was just a stopover For mine Interesting the end of the road on the ground, now! The sun went down on all of us that day. Was it fate? Coincidence? No. It was a long forgotten secret. Buried in the dark. All my life, I've been scared of the shadows. But now, I'm finally ready to step into the light. I got your letters. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, not digging that art style either. Seems Here a little... Ninja Theory, we're hmm. hard at work on all of our projects, including Senua Saga Hellblade 2, which we announced at the Game Awards back in December. An incredible 3.5 million players have now experienced Senua's story in Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Oh yeah. We're excited to start giving you an insight into what comes next for our Celtic Warrior. An experience that we'll be building in Unreal Engine 5 for Xbox Series X and PC. I'm happy to reveal today that Senua's Saga will be set in the beautiful country of Iceland. Awesome. You can find out more about our location scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting in a brand new behind the scenes development diary, which you can view straight after the show on the Ninja Theory YouTube channel. I really, really enjoyed Hellblade, then you was Sacrifice. I actually kind of want to play it again watching this. In, in preparation. It's so touching to see the impact that Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice has had on so many players. And we're incredibly thankful to all of the fans that have been part of Senua's story so far. And we're excited for you to be part of our development journey from here on out. I was hoping we actually see gameplay from that, but I guess not. Oh, could this be Psychonauts too? <laughs> Do I say hi to Peter? He's on the line. What? Here. Peter? Peter? He's been sitting there the whole time. Hey, who wrote the song? Uh, yeah. Peter. Oh, Peter! Fantastic work. Love the song. Very much. It's gonna be fun to sing it. Now it's time to... Yes. It's been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind pop-ins.
I am so excited for this game. The first is probably one of my favorites of all time. It's a quiet place. Lost alone. Neither skin nor bone. Just a thought is all I've got. Now my cover's low. At the bottom of a lake. Of frozen feeling. When my friends pulled me back up. I started. always enjoy the art style of, of the first game and this just looks to continue that be checking i'll be definitely playing that a hundred percent for sure for sure we can't wait for you to experience the amazing games built by xbox game studios and there is just so much more for you to play on xbox we are partnering with thousands of creators from the largest publishers to the smallest independent developers to bring you the broadest variety of games ever there is one developer in particular that is close to us not just geographically but in history too I'm thrilled to announce that this fall, our friends at Bungie will bring Destiny 2 to Xbox Series X and Xbox Game Pass. If you are one of the more than 10 million Game Pass subscribers, you also get access to all current Destiny 2 expansions starting this September. Wow. For Game Pass Ultimate members, Destiny 2 will also be playable on That's pretty cool. from the cloud. Later this year, Bungie will also release a new version of Destiny 2 that is optimized for Xbox Series X. 4K resolution running at 60 frames per second. Here's an all new look at Bungie's Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Uh, that's crazy they're including all the expansions and updating it for 60 FPS on the Series X because playing it at 30 FPS on, on the One X is, yeah to step beyond the light it's nice to see that upgrade and yeah it's it's destiny 2 it looks like destiny 2 which looks like destiny 1 this is destiny <laughs> 2 that you can play any way you want thanks to xbox game pass some of the world's most inspired developers are working on games for xbox wonder how much microsoft paid for that exclusiveness Xbox Exclusivity. Series X will empower both new and experienced creators to bring the future of games to life like never before. Unique perspectives, unexpected innovations, and fresh voices that demand to be heard and that we can't wait for you to discover. All of the games you're about to see are being built to launch exclusively on Xbox consoles. Thanks and enjoy. World premiere. But what if I don't want to enjoy? What if I just want to watch? Do I have to enjoy it? Was that 
Chernobyl. Be what I think it is. I don't think so. It is a stalker game. I played the first one and I was like, are they remaking World stalker? Premiere. And then no, there it's actually finally we're getting a sequel. The first one was creepy as hell. My Lord Inquisitor, I've reached a term of prime and begun our investigations. My recon squad has been sent into sub-level six of the hive to determine the full extent of the unrest. I'll know more when they make it back. Say I've ever played a Warhammer game, but that I mean, it's on Game Pass. I have Game Pass Ultimate for like the next two years, so it might be worth checking out. was a the big reveal for Tetris world premiere approaching orbit scans a no-go sure you want to drop here oh yeah already lacing up my boots back here 
I actually said boots, but my brain heard something else. Another good for nothing space rock? Whoa. Hold on, let me check. Find anything good? Vex, you're not gonna believe this. Ouch! What the? I like the art style of this game. Gunk. Oh, interesting. I'd probably check it out. It all starts with a dead girl. A forest. The moon. Scent of pines. And then, the gunshot. Every story has two sides. A regular, rational one but also a darker and deeper truth. Not unlike a nightmare. I can see both. Worse, I can live them. rendered simultaneously what what is this place but can you switch back and forth or or is it like a like they showed like one on top one on bottom <laughs> interesting I don't think I've seen that done in a game World premiere. Console launch exclusive. I have to say, the music selection here and the visuals that I'm seeing, I don't think really match up too well. <laughs> this just makes me feel like I'm playing a, a or like listening to some type of arcade game soundtrack from like the 90s. 
if that's your thing, cool, but it's not really mine. Like, I would have preferred to just hear the sound effects. Like, let that speak for the game, you know? this world and I will see it die Blacklist we make our own path we protect our own can you protect me from fate It looks like the multiplayer is free on Game Pass, but if you want to play the single player, you have to buy it. So for people like me, I'll be, I'll have to spend the money. Potentially, I mean, this looks interesting. I, I at, initially I was thinking, oh, this might be a Call of Duty ripoff, but it looks like it has more of a, I don't know, supernatural psychic element to it. Today, you saw 10 world premieres and 22 console launch exclusives. Game Pass members can play every game you have seen today from Xbox Game Studios and all of our partners in the subscription or free to play. This is just a peek at some of the new titles coming to Xbox Series X. And some of the games you already love and some you have yet to play will also be optimized for Xbox Series X. Games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, and Sea of Thieves. You'll get the next gen upgrades at no additional cost when they launch. You can expect a lineup of over 100 titles for Xbox Series X this holiday season. With Series X and Game Pass, Xbox is the place to play, and you are at the center of everything we do. Now, you may have noticed we didn't get to visit all of our Xbox Game Studios today. That means we'll have more to share later this year. But until then, here's one more thing. World Premiere. They waited for the last minute. What's this big reveal? The world is filled with stories of legendary heroes and treacherous villains. Of fantastical creatures and wondrous places where nature and magic. This reminds me so much of the old NVIDIA uh, graphical demos with the fairy. Except that, that's different. Not all stories have happy endings. <laughs> but yours has yet to be written. There it is, Fable. They did not show any gameplay, obviously. I enjoy the Fable games, but they always overhype them and then never really delivered on all of the things that they talked about, which 
Uh, I think it really depends with this game if Peter Molyneux is is involved. Uh, I like his vision, but he kind of always bites off more than he can chew, and then they have to scale the game back, which is always disappointing. Uh, but maybe with the next gen, with more memory and stuff available, they'll actually be able to do things that were originally planned for the game. I don't know. We'll see. I believe that was it thank you for watching so and thank you for watching I really appreciate you guys tuning in if you did uh, if you like this video uh, and haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead I post new content every single week stuff like this uh, technical breakdowns of video games uh, I'm working on a Death Stranding video right now hopefully I'll have that done for this week at some point uh, I got some reviews coming up for uh, the SVS Prime Wireless 2.1 the Edifier G2 2, I guess you'd call it, uh, headphone, gaming headphones, and uh, some other stuff in the works, which is really exciting. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, uh, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload stuff. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will definitely catch you in the next video. Thanks.